Hello students, in this video we shall learn how to draw the network diagram when the alphabets are given. So that is the activities are given in the form of alphabets. Instead of from event to event, usually from 1 to 2 to 1 to 3, like that the events will be given uh, as activities. That is the starting event and the ending event will be given. Now, here the activities are given and their immediate predecessors are given here. So, having this data, let us draw the network diagram now. So, to draw the network diagram, first we should know what is a predecessor. In my introduction video, I have told already about what is a predecessor, what is a successor. But anyway, I will just say what is a predecessor. Now, here the activity A does not have any predecessor. That means there is no activity before activity A. Similarly, B and C. Whereas for activity D, the predecessor is activity A. That is, activity A happens first and following the activity A, activity D emerges. So, activity D is an emanating activity from activity A. Okay, so now let us draw the diagram with this idea. Okay, now first if you see activity A, B, C, all these three activities does not have a predecessor, which means activity A, B, C start simultaneously. So these three activities are the starting activity because they don't have a predecessor. So the uh, three of the three the, these three activities start simultaneously. So now we have decided what are the activities which are the st uh, starting activities. Now after this we should check which are the ending activities that is the activities which is not given in this predecessor list will become the ending activities. Now here we have for activities from A to K. So, if we observe here, we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. But we do not have activity J and K in any of these predecessors. Which means J, activity J and activity K will become the end activities. Okay. So, that we have to decide. So, first we have to check out for the starting activities. So, because they didn't have a predecessor, these three has become the starting activities. And then, these two activities have, has not appeared in the predecessor list, which means these two will be the ending activities. So, now we have decided the starting and the ending activities. After this decision, we must draw the uh, network diagram. Always we have to first draw a rough diagram. After that we have to draw a fair diagram. So now if you see here, we shall uh, uh, draw these three activities which does not have a predecessor. Which means, see, now here we have drawn a node. So there is no activity before this node. So activity A. So this is activity A. Then activity B. And then activity C. All these three activities are the starting activities. And those three activities do not have a predecessor. There is no activity before these three activities. So we have drawn these three. So these three are done. Next we have to draw the activity D. So what is the predecessor of activity D? It is A. Uh, now we have to check whether this D has appeared in this list along with the activity which has been previously completed. So that we have to check. So if we check, we have we can see that D has, has appeared here. But there is no activity along with D. So there is no issue. So directly after activity A, we have to draw this activity D. So this is A, B, C. Now the predecessor of D, activity D is activity A. So, I think uh, by now you must have understood this precedent. What is a predecessor? So, uh, activity D follows the activity A. So, this is the predecessor for D. So, activity D, D we have drawn. Next, we have activity E. So, activity E emerges from B. 
so if you see we have activity b here so activity e emerges from b we should also check whether e has appeared here along with any other activity which has got completed so if we check e has appeared here but it is not along with any other activity so directly we can just draw e over here so let me draw it here so this is activity e so if you see activity e is followed by activity i mean is followed after activity b so b is the predecessor of the activity e now next this is completed after that we have to draw the activity f what is the predecessor of f it is b so where is the activity b it is here so again from this node we have to draw activity f we should also at the simultaneously we have to check whether f has appeared here along with any activity which has been completed which has been already drawn so if we check f has now appeared here it has appeared along with g but so far we haven't drawn drawn g so we need not worry about it so f emerges from b so it is emanating from b so this is activity f so f we have completed now after completing f we have to go to the next activity which is g now what is the predecessor of g the predecessor of g is activity c so where is activity c it is here so the predecessor of uh, g is c so we should start g from this node then what we should do we should check whether g has appeared in this list along with any activity which has been previously completed so these are the completed activities so if we check g has appeared here and it has appeared along with f which has been already completed so the ending node of g should be the ending node of f so where is f f is here so this is uh, the ending node of f so this should be the ending node of g and g is uh, the is preceded by c so g has to start here and it has to end here so this is how we have to draw i will tell you once again so first now we are going to draw the um, arrow g the activity g the preceding activity of g is c so it has to start from this node so we have to start we have decided the starting node now we have to decide the ending node for which we have to check whether g has appeared in this list in this precedence list which along with the activity which has been already completed so if we check g has appeared here and the activity along with it is f f is already completed we have already drawn so the ending node of f will be the ending node of g so the starting node was this and so and the ending node was this so we have completed the activity g also next we have the activity h the um preceding activity for h is d so activity d so it has to start from here and then what we should do we should check whether h has appeared in this list along with the activity which has been previously completed so if we check h has appeared here but it has appeared with i which is not yet completed so we need not worry about it and so we can draw h as it is so h has to be preceded by d so it has to start from here and so i am drawing h here so this is the activity h so now we have completed the activity h next we have to move on to the activity i so if you see i is preceded by the activity e so this is activity e so after this we have to draw i so this will be the starting node for the activity i now we have to check for the ending node for which we have to check in this list whether i has appeared along with the activity which has been previously completed so if we check i has appeared here along with h h is already completed so where is the end node of h it is here so the starting node of i will be this node and the ending node of i will be this node so therefore this will be activity i so now we have completed activity i next if you see activity j which is the ending activity and it is preceded by h and i where is h and i here so h and i are here so this activity is the final activity so we can easily draw it so activity j which is done then we have activity k and it is preceded by f and g and activity k is the final activity where is the final node it is here so we have to end here so k is this 
activity K. So the uh, yeah, K is preceded by F and G and it becomes the ending activity because already we have uh, circled it uh, as an end, end activity these two. So if you see this is the network diagram. So now we have to number this diagram according to the order in which um, the events are preceded. For example this will be activity I mean event 1. After that this is event 2. Then event 3, event 4. Then if you see this is event 5, event 6, event 7, then event 8 and event 9. So there are 9 events and this is the network diagram for the given um, Acti uh, activities with the Im immediate predecessors. So always first draw a rough diagram then make it a fair diagram. Here the rough diagram itself has uh, exactly uh, finished. It's, it's done. So we can just uh, draw these lines with the help of the scales and make it a fair diagram. Uh, why I am saying to always uh, asking to draw the rough diagram is sometimes we may have a dummy activity and we may replace the activities according to the arrow diagram so that they don't intersect one another without a node. So for that reason I am asking you to draw the rough diagram first and then we can draw a fair diagram. So hope you have understood how to draw the uh, activities when the alphabets are given. Thank you. We'll see more problems on this in our future videos.